Look at that! The art show has come to the marina! We should go get ready to check out some works! If you're going to an art show, you have to dress appropriately. So I need to find myself a thin, neutral color sweater. Here's one. So you're gonna wanna put this on. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> But not like that, because if your sweater looks like that, then it's too thick and you need to throw it away. It's also a good bit of advice to fill up your coat with a bunch of canvases. So if anyone at <laughs> can we, can we yeah. do it? I, <laughs> I don't know why I called it a coat. It's also a good tip to fill up your sweater with a bunch of blank canvases. That case, if anyone asks you, you had them when you walked in. And, you know, I think that's all we need. Let's go check out the exhibit. Wow, here we are. What a lovely art installation. Huh. This one must be inspired by my favorite of the deadly sins, pride. I see. <laughs> this one must have been drawn by a whirlwind because from the way the paint looks to me, it's from about 1916 which was known to many as the Year of the Whirlwinds. I see. <laughs> this one was painted by a local artist who actually experienced this themselves. This one is called Slimo Dissolves the Man. The artist was Slimo. This one is pretty interesting because it's painted from a really rare and unheard of perspective. First person. You can tell from the hands and the feet that this person knows how to levitate a ukulele into thin air. This one is uh, based off of uh, a natural phenomena that happens when a deer gets to be uh, exactly 13, uh, his feet explode. <laughs> oh, nice! I love to see a nice self-portrait series of someone's development over time. Wow, that's a beautiful transition. Wow. This, these paintings truly are beautiful. This, these paintings really tell a story. You can understand from the beginning to the middle to the end what's happening the whole time. And I think that's truly beautiful. Look at the way that they painted the uh, neck bone. Before I show you these paintings, I want you to be aware that these were painted at a really dark time during the artist's lives, and from such emotional inspiration fruited these paintings. So sad. <laughs> Alright, let's pull up some of- oh, what? Some of the uh, submissions that we've got from our fans online. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's pull up <laughs> some of the uh, the submissions. All right, let's pull up some of 
the submissions that people responded to on Twitter. <laughs> Here's one now. Whoa! This is a photo piece by Toby Collie. I really like every line. Let's uh, let's go into the database and find the next one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now I'm hacking in to the next one. This one is an illustration piece by illustrator at large, Goral Chorus. I, uh, I think that there's not enough eyes. Continuing to hack the mainframe here, looks like we got one. This one is an abstract piece by Adler the Eagle. I wonder where he painted it. Probably the Eiffel Tower. <sighs> I'm working on a big one this time. <laughs> it looks like this is a piece that's by a Twitter user Fiddle H Badger. Oh, that's pretty cool. I got another one here on the ropes. It looks like this one is by Figgy Newtons. Whoa, whoa, oh! Huh, it looks like this one is by an unknown artist. And from the data here, it tells me that it is a picture of a creature of great strength during a moment of relaxation. I'm working up on a big one right now. This one, it looks like uh, the artist has taken something pre-existing and <laughs> imagined it under a different lens. And you know, that's always quite an impressive feat if you ask me. For the grand finale, the art flow from this one, I can feel it in the code. This one is huge. This one is transcendental. Here it is. Oh, it's so perfect. Every stitch, every line. Well, thank you everybody for going on this guided tour of art and creativity with me. I hope that you learned a lot and that you can appreciate some art in your own local venue or make it yourself.